Fischel Instruments Sample Preparation Solutions for Electronics, Energy, Industrial, Life Sciences, and Research Applications. In this video, you will learn how to create disk specimens for transmission electron microscopy using the Fischel Instruments Model 170 Ultrasonic Disk Cutter. Ultrasonic disk cutting is an extremely successful method for producing transmission electron microscopy specimen disks from any hard, brittle material, such as ceramic, semiconductor, and geological materials. This rapid technique directly produces disk specimens from materials as thin as 40 micrometers or cylindrical rods up to 10 millimeters in length from bulk materials. For this video, the material type is 1 mm thick glass. You will need the Model 170 ultrasonic disc cutter, 1 mm thick bulk glass, an aluminum specimen plate, a hot plate, crystal bond 509 adhesive, 600 grit silicon carbide abrasive powder, water, tweezers, a wooden stick, and cotton swabs. Mounting the bulk material for cutting. Place the aluminum specimen plate on a hot plate heated to approximately 120 degrees Celsius to melt the crystal bond adhesive. Coat the middle of the specimen plate with enough crystal bond adhesive to accommodate the bulk glass. Use tweezers to place the bulk glass onto the melted crystal bond adhesive and gently press the glass down with a wooden stick until any air bubbles beneath the glass are expelled. Remove the specimen plate from the hot plate and allow it to cool to room temperature. Place the specimen plate under the thumb screws of the disc cutter's specimen container assembly. Tighten the screws firmly. Cutting the disc. Set the specimen container assembly onto the disc cutter's magnetic stage. Flip the disc cutter's power switch up to turn on the power. The red on indicator illuminates. Use the cutting head height adjustment knob to gently lower the cutting tool onto the glass. If the dial indicator needle moves, that means that the indicator connecting rod is making contact with the indicator contactor assembly. Raise the cutting tool from the surface of the glass. Add silicone carbide abrasive powder to the surface of the glass beneath the cutting tool. Attach the syringe to the front of the disc cutter and add water from the syringe onto the surface of the glass. The silicon carbide powder will become a paste. Lower the cutting tool until it touches the silicon carbide paste on the surface of the glass. Continue to lower the tool until the stage is slightly compressed. Move the ultrasonic transducer switch to the auto termination position. Cutting begins immediately. The dial indicator will display, in positive units, the current depth of the cut. Lower the cutting head as needed to further compress the stage. When the specimen material is cut fully through, cutting automatically terminates and the auto indicator illuminates. Move the ultrasonic transducer switch to the middle position. Turn off the power to the instrument. Removing the specimen. Place the specimen plate onto the hot plate.
Once the crystal bond adhesive melts, use tweezers to gently release the disc from the specimen plate. Soak the disc in acetone for at least 30 minutes to remove the crystal bond adhesive.